Well, the World Bank has predicted that the rising prices of food items in the country could push additional 6 million Nigerians into poverty. And this is because in its most recent report on inflation, the National Bureau of Statistics said the Consumer Price Index, CPI, which measures the rate of change in prices of goods and services in the country, went up more than 17%. And tracking some of the food price across Lagos market is our correspondent, and she also uh, looks at some of the consumers and sellers lamenting poor sales and high cost of food items. Well, let's get talking now as our business correspondent, Kali Ubi, joins us for further assessment. Hello, Kali Ubi. Hi. How are you doing oh, today? I'm fine. Looking I'm as me. bright as usual. <laughs> yes, sure. So give us a breakdown of what the prices of commodities are like in the market. Okay, um, for, uh, let me start with, for many Nigerians, life and living has become extremely difficult as many of us go through a hardship to acquire the crucial um, needed basis necessity of um, food, clothing and shelter. So let's go to, let's do a breakdown on food items that have gone high, mm. the one that we know we see, but the prices are not kind of, um, it's affordable, but it's a whole lot in the pocket of the Nigerians, mm. that's me, you, and every other person. Uh, looking at the sweet potato bag, the big bag is going for 18000 now. The sweet potato we used to buy for 5000 Really? 7000 <laughs> It's now 18000 uh, When was it 5000 It was 5000 last last month. Then wow. ending of last month, it went up to 7000 10000 Now it's 18000 in the market. That's huge. But last week it was fifteen. Wow. When I was 17. So now when you go to the Malams and you want to buy, these are bookies, you want to buy um, sweet potato, when they give you two for um, 200, then you don't have to complain because this is what they buy from the market. Hmm. Then we have the Irish potato, the big bag is 50,000. Hmm. How much was it before? Uh, it was going for 35, then 40, 45. Last week was 48. Okay, when and then, 50. okay. So we have the drum beans. That's the one they use for the akara, mm. the moi moi. That one is going for 54,000, mm. the big bag. As against how much? Against 53. That's what last week. Okay, that's a 1,000. Uh, there was a time increase. it was 50, then now it's 54. Mm. And we have, uh, last week, price it was okay it went down because last week it was 55,000 okay but now okay. it's 54 mm. so, so what, what do you think different? is responsible for that drop uh, for the drop it's uh, i think it's <laughs> it's <laughs> we can't even it's just fluctuating yeah it, it mm. does you can't say this is the price this will be today this is the price it will be tomorrow it just comes in the, you just walk into the market or as a buyer as a consumer or, or uh, the trader then you find out that either it comes up or it goes down. So. Mm, but, but most times what we hear is uh, the increase in prices. We hardly hear it go down. And that's why this particular one is shocking mm. the price of Irish potato going down. Uh, is, it, is it that the demand for it isn't as high as those other commodities you talked about increasing uh, their prices? Right now, the the cost, the traders are, are really crying out loud. They are crying like uh, it's not funny. They said uh, for the recent, um, if we go into, because I spoke to some of the traders yesterday, uh, and they expressed their disappointment over poor sales. Mm. They say it's not just going to buy the things any longer. It's for the consumers to so come now even that. purchase yeah purchase is a so whole it means lot. the purchasing power is also dropping it's dropping mm. and not only is it dropping they're coming to the consumers some of them come to buy credit from them hmm. because they can't even afford. afford their salaries are not the salaries are not growing and uh, if we go back to how much do uh, the minimum wage of government workers uh, it's 30, 30, mm. so it there's no additional to that to and you know salary. there's also the uh, statistics or prediction by the world bank that mm. six million nigerians will be further put or uh, pushed into poverty, poverty. going by the mm. prices of Price goods of, and services uh, goods in the market and if we'll go back to according to what um, president of um, af um, DB. afdb said he said uh, um, the African can feed itself. Mm. So I'm wondering if the African can feed itself with the numbers of poor Nigerians rising daily. And mm. uh, the World Bank even predicted what 
uh, we all know the rising of the prices of food items in the country will push additional six million Nigerians to poverty. The reason for the for this assertion is is far being sick, as on the Nigerians like before continue to frown under the food prices, um, at the high rate of food price in the market. Mm. So um, you've not talked about the price of rice. The price of rice. Okay, mm. I'm going into it. Uh, that's still the on the beans. Uh, yeah, uh, the price of rice for the foreign rice is twenty nine to thirty thousand. Okay. The local rice is twenty eight. To 29, uh, as of last week, foreign rice was 28,000, wasn't it? This week is 29. 29, 1,000 naira increase within mm -hmm. one week. Within one week. So we also look at the, uh, a lot of people, a lot of um, traders are complaining about their goods being seized by the customer okay. officers. And this, when, when they want to go and collect their goods from them, they have to pay additional money for this. Mm. And this falls on the, on the food items itself. Mm. So they, they pay this money, and how would they make this money back? Make like it from food. the consumers. They make it from the consumers. Mm. And the consumers will complain. Mm. But if the consumers complain, they can't tell their stories to the consumers. Oh, this is what the process we have to go through to, get, the to, food. to get our food items back from. And the revenues, when uh, all, most of our food products comes from the north, mm -hmm. the transportation. Mm -hmm. So let's go into yam. Um, a yam, a trailer load of yam coming from Benue is 1.2. Mm, 1.2 tons? Million. Million that, naira. Yeah, million naira. That's what these drivers call it from these traders. Mm. And these traders and the drivers, and not only the 1.2, the other money that will be added to each load of, um, uh, uh, any um, load of trailer that will be coming into mm -hmm. Lagos mm -hmm. or whatever that is going to, mm -hmm. the revenues will be added to it, the transportation will be added to it, the diesel will be added to it, everything comes into this, mm -hmm. into this food items. Mm -hmm. And you don't expect the traders to sell below to what? Mm -hmm. You said the price of local rice is 28,000. 28, yeah. So it means the price of local rice is even cheaper than to that the of foreign, the foreign rice. To the foreign despite rice. the fact that uh, we have now boosted local production, according to the federal uh, government. According to them, they've, it's not yet um, the refined the way we want it or the way the consumers want it. So, so you're saying the demand for it isn't yet as high as that of foreign rice? Mm, we're going to, if we look back to um, four months till now, we'll say that they are trying in their own way to make the local rice better because I remember when it came into the market oh the local rice when the foreign rice was banned mm. there was a ban on the foreign rice then we you can't eat the local rice without have to bite stone so <laughs> <laughs> it's half stone mm, half, half rice, rice. Mm. but now if you go into the market you can still get the Nigerian rice that are refined are refined and Better, better rock. yes. So I think people are eating more of this local rice because you, have, you can still get a dairy cow for 500, 400. If you go below 300, you're on your own. Mm. Just know you're eating stoned rice. So uh, the demand for the local rice is mm. really on, on a good side. So is there an end in sight? Are we to expect more increase in prices? Because it looks like every time you come back here, you're coming mm. with... Increased prices. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 actually not my fault because that's what <laughs> of course that's, I do. It's that's not what we fault. get from the market. And, mm. and if we go back to um, many traders, I have okay, I've done that. And if we go back to what Professor Uche Uwaneke said, the president of the Association of the Capital Market mm. Academics, in his own response, explained that it's possible for the drop for food inflation might reflect to actual drop in the basic food prices, um, but arising the basic effect association with the um, uh, what the CP, C, uh, CPI mm. on a year-to-year -year basis mm. what the CPI said and he also said insecurity which directly impact food inflations mm. that it is not about the transportation it's not about the high uh, uh, price in diesel also the insecurity as far as the insecurity thing is not being tackled mm. food price will not come down, will not come down. because um, uh, the farmers are being attacked by mm. these headsmen. Recently, so, about 60 of them were killed in uh, Katsina. So Very sad he, occurrence. Yeah. yeah, but of course, we have to wrap it up, Kali. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so Very much for your time. <laughs> Kali will be our business correspondent. Thank you for helping us understand what's going on in the market. Thank you so much.